Hey guys, my name is Sidney Egg and welcome back to sort of episode of Transport Fever 2 where you're now witnessing the brand new food line. Is it food line? I think it is food line, right? <laughs> I forgot. No, it's the ore line that is now transporting over our little miniature Golden Gate Bridge all the way into Chicago. Because we, last episode boys, kind of reconfigured a couple of our routes to make the machines plant and the whole steel industries uh, produce more goods. We made it so much more efficient. We switched over the ore lines to the other one and vice versa. You know what's going on boys. I ain't gonna keep talking about this right now. I feel like I'm a broken record at this point. But today, we are now officially gonna start shipping all the goods to all the cities around in the middle of the United States. Is it classed as the Midwest? I don't really know. Uh, but basically, right, this, uh, all, all the all steel over here goes over there, this machine plant over there, provides everything on the East Coast. This machine plant here is going to provide everything in the center of the US. But each of these cities require not only machines, but they also require food. Now, my original plan was to bulk this up here, this plant, this little train station there, so we can distribute all the machines to all the cities, but I'm kind of forgetting one big thing. My distribution um, kind of uh, hub over here. What I'm gonna do, rather than bulk up that platform and get it completely overloaded, bring all the machines to here, bring all the food to here, and then we'll set up a bunch of trains that go from our distribution hub and deliver it to all the individual cities. That is how we're gonna feed the United States with their machines and their food. And it's going to be absolutely glorious. But there's a few things I gotta do before that can happen. Um, we currently have the machines all up and running. That will just kind of grow as time goes on. So that's fine. It's the food. Now, currently, we only have the food coming from over here, which it's not the best, but it only grows to its demand. That's what they do anyway. Um, and right now, in this distribution hub, we only have one line utilizing it, which is the Savannah line, which eventually is going to be switched over onto the East Coast. But I'm going to keep it there so it keeps these plants still producing so I don't lose any demands. So, cities in question. I'm not going to do Pittsburgh because that can come from over here. We are going to do Chicago, Detroit, Toronto, Montreal. That is so far away. Uh, Nashville. And then we're going to end it in uh, New Orleans. That's where we're going to go for all of this run. That's quite a few cities. So it's going to be very, very interesting getting this all set up. And it does need, mean I'm going to need to bulk up the heebie-jeebies out of our distribution hub. So let's break this down in stages, okay? We need to bring the machines over. Easy enough. We need to bring the food over. Easy enough. Then from that logic, I need to then bulk up our system. So I might favor food more than machines so I can get another food hub over here up and running. Hold on. <laughs> I'm allergic to food. Not really. I'm a big boy. Um, we're going to get this additional food plant over here up and running as well. So we have two food plants delivering to our distribution hub. Um, and then we should be able to deliver a lot of stuff. Now, to be able to do this, we're, I'm going to pause the game real quick. We're going to need to expand and reconfigure our uh, distribution hub here to be able to handle the vast amount of trains coming in and out. Now, the majority of them... I'm going to be coming in and out from this direction, so I need to favor the in and out route here as opposed to this one. So, configurations need to be done, which it's going to be a little bit painful to do this because I technically need to delete everything. But if I first start with deleting all of these connections to it, right, we'll come back to it. Don't worry, we'll come back to it. We're going to delete to the point... Because I don't know how long this station is going to be. Where it's just two tracks on the crisscross. Two tracks just after the crisscross or before it. Depending on which way you want to look at it. And the same thing for over here. So just by the crisscross. Delete all this. We're going to have to reconfigure it all. Because I need to change how many platforms we've got. I need to extend it. I need to add more cargo and stuff like that. This is going to be very important. The main reason we're doing this. Because it's also getting to the uh, airport too. Which makes things so much more easier. Now... Is it easier to delete this and then add another one in? The answer is yes. Yes, it is. Buildings. Cargo. <laughs> Full length. And I'm only going to do one track. High speed, cantry, yes. Because I get to configure pretty much the rest. So I'm going to place this here. We'll go just there. And we'll now configure this. So configure. Where's the configure button? 
Haha, ha, configure. So, how we're going to do it is, we've got the line there for the uh, the cargo. We'll do another line here, and just hit the right train track. Another line just there, and then we do another platform for cargo. We then have another line or two lines set up. So we've got there one, two, three lines for cargo on the one side, but we need more. We need more. So we can do another platform. Okay, that completely messed up there, didn't it? All right, bam. We do another two lines. All right, this is where it now gets interesting, okay? So then we do a line for passenger. Right, okay, you, you see where I'm going with this? We do another two lines. But then, we do another two lines. Now, this is where we have our bypassing route, and I'm going to replicate everything I've just created here. So this seems like a lot. Oh, wait, hold on. Is that the maximum I can go? No. There's a maximum to how much you can build? No freaking way is there. Oh, I am shook off to the max. You're telling me that's the max you can build? Well, I am not happy right now. I am officially not happy. This has now completely stumped me. So if that's the furthest we can go... How diddly dare they right now? Okay, if that's the furthest we can go, we'll, st we'll sort this out again. So... Wow, that's really the furthest we can go? No way! So, okay, so let, let's break this down. Now I, know, now I know there's actual, like, limitations to how far we can go. Okay, cargo, cargo. Passage, oh, well, another line there. So we're going to have to break it down. We're going to have to be quite smart. I thought we could kind of, like, go on for days. Turns out, no. No, we can't. So there are two bypassing routes. Oh, that's annoying. That is so annoying. Well, it's not really the end of, the, you know, end of it because I could add another line on this side and another line on this side. So it's not really the end of the world, but it kind of is the end of the world. Because for me to add a platform in for passenger-wise, oh, this is, this is throwing a spanner in the works, hasn't it, boys? This is throwing a spanner in the works right now. So we get the one, two... We're going to have to share a line for the passenger. I, I still want the bypassing route. That's really important to us. That's super important to us. So we're going to have to treat it like that. Which is a shame, really. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not crying. You're crying. I'm not crying. You're crying, guys. All right, there we go. Because we're not really going to utilize many passengers here so we need one on each side of the uh, you know for the directions in which we go in uh let's get the rest of all of this in i bet you someone's gonna tell me right now there's a mod that can extend my stations if there is i'm gonna cry right there we go and then trek so it still works not as perfect as i would once have hoped but it's still going to work it's still going to work, guys. So there's not really much stress. Don't need to cry too much. <laughs> Don't be too sad, guys. Don't be too sad. Right, there, 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 there. Keep it going. There we go. So platforms, pretty much all cargo, isn't it? Yeah. Right, sweet. So, it's on steroids right now, This, this, these platforms. They're on steroids. So, let's get these all reconnected back up again. So, in reality, when it comes to it right now, these train tracks, these are the bypassing routes. These what go directly into here. Okay, and then all train lines connect to it. <laughs> so, if I run this to there, and then run this to here, we're then going to run you in. And then you in like that. We're going to run you in. And then you in like that as much as we can. We're then going to bring you into there. To there. And there we go. We, we kind of back to normal. 
it does what it needs to do. So these go directly into here. And then we'll utilize this one to run to about here. Same for this one there. This bends into the maximum. That comes in. Bends into the maximum. This comes in. Bends in. Bends in. Right, we're back to normal. I've just now got to re-add in the platforms for these lines. So the people Pittsburgh one here manage this line real quick. So cannot start because it's used by a passenger vehicle, which kind of completely makes sense. So this one here is uh, Pittsburgh to Charlotte. This is Pittsburgh to Charlotte. What is this line doing again? Oh, it's okay. It, it is the passenger line. So when it gets to Pittsburgh, uh, PA North, we need to utilize this one, right? And then that's fine for you. Is that the right platform? That is the right one, isn't it? Yeah. So what's your issue? So I press play. Cargo cannot stop here because used by passenger vehicles. What do you mean? Wait, where is this coming from? Char oh, Charlotte. Oh, he's coming from Charlotte over this way, isn't it? My bad. I do apologize. I do apologize. Right, the problem's now gone, isn't it? No, is it still here? Wait, what are you talking about? Right, delete you. Add stop. Passenger. There we go. But I need to change what it's on anyway. So it's coming from that way, so it goes on number four. Because I don't want it to hit through the bypassing route. Which is all good. Cargo-wise... Right, let me pause right now. So the machine's coming from Pittsburgh. Okay. Now, we drive on the right side right now. So we're making come into the far right. Which is perfectly fine. That's great. Uh, the food from Pittsburgh, which is coming directly from there. Now, rather than the far right, we'll manage the... Oh, wrong button. We'll manage the line to go to the second one. Right, do we have another one on there? What's going on here? Oh, we do. We do, we do, we do. It's the one that's going to Savannah, isn't it? So, back to here. This has really confused me, and I don't know why. It's so basic. So, Pittsburgh, and we'll make this one go to the furthest one, because that comes from that direction. So, it still gives me a fair few options still to play with. It does. It still gives me a fair few options. Uh, we've only got one passenger route coming in, and we've only got one route that kind of technically goes and tears through this whole area but it does what it needs to do the coal route tears through at the moment so there's not much traffic going on but we've really bulked this all up which is absolutely perfect right now so we can now work with this we've got the machines coming in the food coming in glorious what we now need to set up is individual routes going to each of these individual cities delivering the individual goods. And this is going to be crazy. I feel like I've got so many lines right now that I've not named. And I'm about to do the same again. So, new line. And we'll start with the cargo run from here to... Actually, we'll start from Louisiana in uh, New Orleans to there. So, as it comes down to here, we need to make sure it's on the right platform. So, we'll make it go to number two. Which is good enough for us. Uh, in Pittsburgh, which one's it coming from? So that's going to start here, which again, that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. Uh, we'll do another new line. So that's line 13, by the way, guys. It's line 13. Right, new line. And then we'll do the same again. Bam. Now this one's going directly to uh, Nashville. And... Nothing I need to worry about here. It does what it needs to do. Stops in the right section. It's just here, though. Is the not going to be the issue, but... I suppose it could be the issue. Maybe I do this one to number two. This one to number one. That's on one. That's on two. So it shares the same platforms here. Because then the next line goes to number three. And that will go all the way up into Chicago. And then back again. So that will be at number three. Another new line. Which that will pick then hopefully number four. 
which will go up into Detroit. It's a lot of trains. They won't be too long either. They'll be nice and... Well, they'll be small enough that they won't cause any issues. That's number four. Right, then another new line. This will pick number five, which this is going to go up into Toronto. And the last one's in Montreal. So we've got the perfect amount of stations. So we worked out in, in, in the end. It's just I wanted two extra lines because I couldn't extend further to keep these two separate. But it is what it is at this point. It is what it is. I can't complain too much. So that should be... Oh, wait, it can't go on that one, can it? No, it can. Number six. Number six, all the way up to Montreal. Double check it is all working. Yes. So if I could do what I wanted to do originally, extended that little bit more, I would have had these two lines not on the same drop-off points here. But I suppose it is what it is. They'll, they'll just wait with the signals. So it's not technically the end of the world. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six trains I now need to buy to do the exact same thing. And that is, boys, to drop off the machines and food to each one of these cities. So let's build the trains or buy the trains. And we'll go electric. I mean, what is the speed right now of the current ones I can carry? So is it the box cars? Yeah, they carry both. 99. So the speed I can only go 99 top speed anyway. So I might as well grab uh these bad boys here. 99 miles. Why not? Cargo wise, then we're gonna keep it nice and simple. Box cars. And we'll give a capacity of 80. So if all is well, it's almost 50-50. You know, 40 each for every time they deliver. And I think it's reasonable enough that um, I'm not overloading the factories bringing the goods to them. So six of those bad boys right now. Now this is going to be causing traffic jams for days. The first one we start on line 13. Line 14, which I do need to rename, don't worry. Line 15. Line 16. Line 17. And then finally line 18. It is a lot. It is a lot. But now when these drop the goods off, they should now hopefully start to distribute it a little bit more evenly i don't know if it'll do it on this drop first let's find out not yet so it hasn't distributed them just yet but if it will do it might take a couple of circulations to kind of distribute the goods but it does mean now with that additional demand these factories will now start demanding more which then means these factories will start then producing more and so on and so on so we'll have to kind of give it some time before we start to see which areas we're slightly slacking in but those trains are nice and short enough that they won't hopefully cause too much bother or too many issues uh, on our runs so that's the only issue is when these two trains here want to come in there i mean i can again add let me configure this because there is options here for me to add more in like if i put train tracks here platform wise I'm just going to see if there's room. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Right, I, I, I fixed it, guys. I fixed the issue. It's just a case of if I can get the train line to now connect to it. Right, if I brought that into there. Right, so let's, let's go to line 13, which would originally... I'm going to use these ones, is it? So this will be... Does this work? Oh, we're sitting in the wrong one. So that will be... We'll do number two on that one. So that comes into there. And then line 14 would come into number one. So those two small trains that would have gone to there are now split. Oh, it did work out in the end. I See, I knew I could do it. I forgot that when you... It already counts as two lines on this side from the station. From the building, anyway. Right, that will solve any issues we're going to have now. Right, now I can rest easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's stressful, isn't it, boys? It is stressful. It is stressful. So, yeah, we should have uh, lots going on right now. We should definitely have lots of uh, stuff being produced and going on. So, this factory over here, then, is now going to have a lot 
he needs a lot more steel, by the way. But at the same time, which has just got a lot of steel delivered. At the same time, has so many goods need to be delivered to the areas. So that train there, okay, well, where are these runs anyway? So, still to Detroit, where's this line going to and from? It goes to Lower Chicago. Wait, hold on, what's going on here? Load up the steel, unload the, oh, it picks up and loads off. I don't want that to happen anymore. Because we got a separate train doing that. We got a train, so rather than picking it up and taking it back, we're now delivering all to there and it will come from there. That's what we want. So that will now change completely how it delivers the goods. So all the machines to Pittsburgh, which is this line down to here, should be the only one that picks up all the machines. That's what now should happen. So these should slowly fizzle away. And these should kind of, numbers should go up dramatically. Right, there we go, boys. There we go. And now we just got to wait for them. when they, there we, You can already now see it happening, distributing the goods evenly between the platforms. So it's now all happening for us, which means we're going to start growing all these cities. So New Orleans hasn't really had anything just yet. Nashville hasn't had anything just yet. We're just kind of waiting. Uh, Detroit already kind of technically gets goods because of this system here. I might now get rid of this because we're bringing it in via train. So this factory can just focus on putting all the goods on the train station. So this line here, manage the vehicles. Let me sell the vehicle. Manage the line and let's delete the line. Because it's all coming in by a train anyway and this factory can just completely focus on pumping the goods out on the platform. So here's the train there. I might manage and change this vehicle up. Let's edit it. So completely get rid of it. Everything on it. And we'll uh, edit it up to have... Well, to one be electric. And then to have the bigger box cars. Because we had these red ones before. So capacity of 200. So it makes it one a bit faster and two carry 20 more. Which doesn't seem a lot. I can always add more onto it. But this is glorious right now. This is going to work out really well. So in it comes right now with the machines. The trains are now waiting to come in. Which they are now going to come in one by one. Drops off a load of goods. Uh, you know, goods distributes it on the p different platforms. So now and then, it's a case of kind of now reverse engineering it. We've got this system now all in place. It's now about delivering as much machines and food to the distribution hub as we possibly can to feed the cities. Now, it would mean that the machine plant over here is now on steroids. Uh, it constantly keeps needing steel, which the steel is coming from over here, which this needs more coal to keep producing. So... The coal runs then, we got our Chicago run one now, we've got one there, and the second one is here. We've only got one train on both, so it's Chicago, it's the coal run for both Chicago. So coal run here and here. Actually, let me do it by managing vehicles. So Chicago, coal one and two. We are first going to edit the vehicles. Or replace them, I should say. Replace them with the electric train. Uh, and the cargo wagon needs to be this gondola here. Now, we'll make this carry 200. So, we'll replace it. I don't know if they, the, the whole line's electric. And then we'll duplicate them. So, now they've got two trains on each pla on each run. And they sh it should all be electric, right? And all high speed. Hang on, tools. Yeah. It's all okay. So that will now carry even more coal. Which that should hopefully then have a consistent flow of it coming in to keep producing the steel. Which then makes that keep producing the machines. So hopefully that takes care of the machine run. It's now the food run. Now at the moment it's only coming from over here. Alright. It's only coming from over here. There's a lot of food now technically waiting. 
but that is then going to drop down quite considerably unless the next train comes in. Now we have the third run. We've got two trains on this. I'm going to manage these vehicles and quickly replace them. So replace them with electric and then wagons. Is it the gondola that carries food? Is it the box car? It's the box car, isn't it? So give this capacity of 200. Replace those bad boys. And then the one that brings the wheat in, the wheat Kansas run, there's two vehicles on these on this run all together. That's not really producing too much. Neither is that. Neither is that. But the trains are super old. They're 200 and 128 years old. Holy smokes. We need to replace these. So again, let's go electric, uh, cargo, add in the big box cars, 200 capacity on each. Oh, no electric path. Oh, it's been a while since I've uh, edited these, isn't it? Now, currently, we're also feeding Kansas City. So... We, this is where we might need to kind of get a, an additional food run set up. So, box cars, 200 capacity. There we go. So, those are only minor improvements. They're only minor improvements. We'll see what happens as time goes on. But minor improvements, and we are going to max this factory out. I could take the food off delivering to Kansas to kind of put it all onto this. But we'll just see what happens. We'll see what happens. Now, another thing I can do is, you know the run to Savannah right now? We can get rid of this because I want this to be on this route. So I could flip it all over. But at the same time, we're only doing the run from here to New York to Boston. No, New York. No, wait, hold on. What are we doing? Oh, yeah, because the, the Boston run comes from here. So we're doing Boston, New York, Washington. Charlotte has its own food run, no machines. So the Savannah run... We'll switch this over to New York. So where it goes to Pittsburgh... We now add the station over here. And I feel like there's too many on this one side. So we'll switch this one over to the opposite platform. There we go. So that's now on the East Coast run. And that's important for many, many reasons. All the food that was going to then Savannah now gets di distributed evenly between these cities. So that's pretty sweet. That's now pretty sweet. So more food available for those cities. This is glorious. So the furthest city away is Montreal. Has it? Ha yeah, it, it's had deliveries of the goods. So hopefully it should grow. Now, the more it grows, the more people live here, the more passions I get for my passenger lines. You see where this is going, boys? And how is that trade, this run doing anyway? It's completely maxed out. So manage the vehicle on this. And we'll replace it again. Electric will go for the... Actually, what's the passenger carriage's speed? This one does 87. But it is a higher capacity. So we're going to go with it. So passenger... Now, that one had four. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll add six on this one, which, which definitely carries a lot more. But it might be that I need a second train. Right, we'll just see how that kind of goes. I might need a second train on that run. But all this time, all this hustle and bustle, all these shenanigans has led to this point. And it's absolutely glorious. We should be making a gazillion dollars. <laughs> right, okay. So, we could now start thinking about additional food being distributed over here. It all depends. I don't know if it would have taken a knock. Oh, look at this right now. We need more food coming in. We've got zero store. What's going on? Have you got food on board? Oh, hold on. Have I put the wrong... I've put the wrong wagons on these, haven't I? I've put the wrong wagons on them. I know I have. I've put boxcars on. Because I'm thinking food. They need gondolas to distribute the wheat. 
I am an idiot. I am an idiot, and I've just killed my industry. Uh, but I do want to have the other one set up as well. So I reckon we run a little train route to there, and then to this one, back and forth. One train should do the business. And then we should set up a train on it, picks up the goods there. Hmm. Yes. Yes, we will. All right, hopefully that's not killed my whole... Uh, no, these are growing back quite rapidly right now. Sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm now downgrading you. I'm so sorry, okay? Right, let's set this up then. So I need to get the food from here. Delivered to here. How's the machine plant doing first? Still needs more steel. This, is just, this has got the coal. How much steel is on the platform? Quite a bit. Who, who picks up the steel? Is it you? Yeah. And you've got... Okay, we need to modify this vehicle now. So I'll replace the engine as well. It's just a, a, an easy way to kind of keep on top of stuff. So flat car, let's take the steel. We'll give this a 200 capacity as well. So it's always carrying maximum steel. Ten thousand planks! Holy smokes! Right, that should slowly not catch up, but put a big dent into it all. More planks are being delivered, and it should pick up all the steel currently waiting. This has got lots of coal, so wait for that train to come in. This is a passenger train right now. There's a lot of people on this line. The Montreal to Chicago. Oh, that's the one it's now picking people up from. Picks everybody up. Nice. Well, that train's now going to head out. Goodbye. And that should pick up loads of steel. Loads of steel, boys. Loads of money. Alright, loads of steel. Thanking you very much. Nice. Right, lots more still being delivered. This is the fine tuning that we've got to do. It's kind of excessive, isn't it? Uh, right, okay. Okay. So, with that said, are we now back to producing? We're now back to producing, which is good. Let's get this run set up then to deliver more food over here. And then we're cooking, boys. We are actually cooking right there. So, let's start with this then. Track, no buildings. And flip you right round. Drop you in. So, this is not really going to be connected to the main run until the bit where we distribute the goods. Now, this train station here is connected to that train station, right? I don't think it is, but it doesn't matter anyway, because I'm going to run the line completely different. So we need to have then another row of line here. We'll do an additional platform so they can access it both sides. Oh, I messed up there, didn't I? But the difference is we're going to have an extra line on this side. Now, this will be the line in which they pick the food up to take it to our distribution hub. Okay, so then we'll come back to that in just a moment. Now, I want it far away enough that it gives us time to pick up the food. Deliver it to make a decent amount of money. And when it goes back to the next one, that's been left long enough, whatever one we choose, probably this one or even this one, that there's enough on the platform waiting for us. So I might choose this one, the short route, and then choose this one, the long route. Yes. Yes. That's how we'll do it, guys. That's how we do it. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Boom, boom, boom. All right, put that to there. So it gives me enough to kind of create a bend. Put this down to here. Enough to create a bend. And then track constructions. Uh, okay, I don't need to upgrade no more. Get off the upgrade tool. 
Right, I'm actually trying to bring it away as much as I can, so I give it room for the city to grow. And that's how it naturally chooses this run. And then we'll run this down. Now, it will only add one train to begin with. If it gets a little slightly busier, we'll add multiple trains. So I'll set this line up with the two lines anyway, two tracks, as if we are going to eventually add the two trains in. Right, going across here. Where's the snap? Is there a snap here? Just there? What bridge? Let's go steel. Beautiful. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, that's not the station. <laughs> Right, we'll go to here. Bring this right down and in. Set this one up to just here. Where we'll then utilize that bend just there. So that's the back. What in the world happened here? How did that happen? <laughs> That's funny. Right, please don't do that again. <laughs> I will be keeping my eye on you. Right, we'll get to here first, and, and now I no longer trust it. Right, so I won't do signals just yet, because I'm only going to run one train to begin with. Nice and simple back and forth. Easy. So this one's long enough that it gives both stations a bit of a break to load up enough for the next train to come along and grab it. So what I'm going to do, I was originally going to choose to maybe pick it up from Chicago, but I feel like I'm adding an extra train on this run, which is making it a little bit too busy. Instead, I could bring that line down to connect to this, to take it this way, to take the heat off slightly. Now what's going on here? Why is... Why, what's going on here? Right, I don't think we should have the signal just there. That will then move that along. And then we shouldn't really have a signal here. So that's where my signals are a bit messed up right now, isn't it? You only need your signals that way. It's come to bite us in the booty previously, hasn't it? So... It only now makes sense that I get rid of the ones that we no longer need. You don't need a signal after you've gone across the junction. There we go. So that should alleviate slightly. So this is the only downside of having all this now happen. This is the only downside to it. You've got to now wait for them to one by one come in and out. Which is not a problem. It does what it needs to do. There's no issues. It's just, you know, the inevitable downfall of it all. <laughs> but it's okay. It works out. They all get through it just in time. There's no issues. I mean, some moments there's not a single train there. Sometimes there is. It's look of the draw. It's look of the draw at this point. But trains all move down anyway. You could add in another signal just there to kind of bulk them a little bit further down. But again, it'll probably just cause mass issues anyway. That train comes through. The next train should then move on in. Which this will wait here for this one to cross over and out. I could get rid of this one. So there's no train. Going over that to allow them to freely move out. It does mean it pushes back the backlog a little bit further. But unless there's no one crisscrossing over, so the train wants to go out and down this way, it, it can, no issues. Anyway, getting sidetracked right now. Alright, we'll bring this down to here. Run it straight down. And then bring it in. Let 
and we'll crisscross it just there because this is only going to be one train so there's not going to be really much going on right i'll rename all my routes next episode so don't worry i do it before next episode so we'll, we'll all have names for them don't worry guys another new line from here then into here What's going on here? Can I select this? There we go. So where's that bringing it in? So ideally, you want it to bring it in on number five. The same one that the other one utilizes. And we'll use this for the color of the wheat. So we know. Spectacular. Now what I will do to save a bit of time is connect you in like that. Just so that when I buy the trains now. It can kind of go around and you'll get it going back and forth. Genius. There's so many trains going on right now. Right, electric boys. Cargo. We need this one for the wheat. So we'll do a 200 capacity. Nice. And then we'll set this free on our line 19. And then we need to change up these to box cars. And we'll do an 80 capacity, because I don't see it being... Because this one can kind of uh, do it a lot quicker. Actually, no. We'll do 100 capacity on that. Line 20. All right, there we go. So hopefully that's more food being delivered to the distribution hub, which will make us more money in general. Food will now start getting weighted at the platform. This will start now creating the food. Two food runs coming down. We should have lots of uh, food at these distribution hub. It shall be glorious. It shall be glorious, boys. It's nice when a plan comes together, isn't it? It is nice when a plan comes together. So many variables for stuff to go wrong. It is crazy. It is crazy. Right, okay. So how's the machine plant doing now right now? Is it still need it still needs steel? This still needs coal. Oh, it's just had a delivery of coal. So do we need third trains in these coal runs? Because there's still so much coal waiting here. Manage the vehicles, you know what? Four coal trains. Four coal trains on each run. That would really add a lot more to it, wouldn't it? That would add so much more. So they're all waiting to now leave the platform. Out they go. There's just a lot going on. But we've got the signals. Fingers crossed. Hopefully you'll set up correctly. There should be no issues. Line free. What's line free? Oh, okay. Right. There's a lot of people waiting on these, like, these stations. Even line two's busy. We're gonna have to add more trains to these as well at some point. But it's all I think it's all good right now. I think uh they are substantially getting their goods. So you can tell by the charts. Toronto's had a little growth spoke uh, growth growth spurt going up. So is Montreal, so that is the result of them now getting their goods. Chicago up and down because we have to take the roots away and add them back on. Uh, roots like Nashville, which is kind of technically isolated right now. Huge growth spurt when we added the passenger line in. And now as we add the food and machines, it's starting to go up as well. And hopefully the same for New Orleans. Uh, charts, yep, having their growth spurt too. So, yes, the cities will now slowly get bigger and bigger and better and beautiful. 
I can see a bridge need to be created here as well to connect these guys up. Not bad. I think at some point we need to review all our lines to know if we've got enough capacity on them as well. Right, this has got loads of goods coming in, so I'm not worried too much about this. This has now only just started to produce the goods, so we should have the transport coming in for it. I'm not sure when it drops it off. That could have been... No, that's not it, because the transport hasn't gone up yet. Where's the train for it, anyway? Maybe it's just gone in for the first time with no goods. Now it's going to pick up some for the first time ever. But more food being dropped off. Nice. Amazing. So it looks like it's about to pick up its first load of food for the first time. And now it'll just kind of substantially just grow over time as well. There's not a lot it's being delivered, but it's got to meet those demands. Oh, hold on. This is dropping goods here to line 15. Line 15. Oh, it also takes... <laughs> Actually, that's quite smart. Because the train's got to go back and forth anyway. So really, I didn't need this line. Because we had a train there already. That's hilarious. But then it, got, it means that this, this train here makes money going back as well. I've got two trains that don't need to be there right now. I might have to kind of reconfigure those. But yeah. <laughs> right, how much money are we making now in terms of the charts? We have not peaked to our previous best, which is this it? 468. This is 468. Oh, this year. 466. This could be our most profitable year. 467. We need one more million coming in, and this is our most profitable year to date. Oh, it skipped to the next year. We are... No, hold on. That is more, isn't it? Sorry. Let me uh, reduce this. So that there... Oh, it's 467! Guys, we just had our most profitable year to date. The previous year was our most expensive, as I bought everything. But we just had our most profitable year to date with all these changes that we're now making. All these improvements that we're now including. We are going to be gazillionaires. <laughs> How's the passenger line, in, like, say, in New York and stuff like that? In, uh, so the people here. Let's, uh, let's manage these vehicles and switch them all out. So replace them. So these have got on the multi-unit ones, I'm assuming. Uh, which are these here. Right, these are, this one here is a lot quicker, holds a lot more people, has a better loading speed. So if I, if I added these, now these hold 162 people. Now that is the train as a whole, it's a multi-unit. What do these, these trains currently hold? 162. So it's the same capacity, they're a lot faster and got a better loading speed. Or I could just build my own train. So electric wise, let me cancel this. I could build my own, but you don't get the loading speed. So I could, I could have these, which is not a problem, get my loading speed up, but I could have more of them. I could replace them for these to begin with. So they have a lot quicker of the loading speed right now, and off they go. And then maybe just add two more onto the run. And then go from there. So that's our Boston to Charlotte. We have a Boston to Chicago. Our Charlotte one here, which kind of splits. So Char uh, Charlotte to Miami. Manage these vehicles, replace them with the same. But I'll add, I'll add one more on this one. That's what I'll do there. Miami, we've got one that goes... This one, line two, goes all the way up to New Orleans. We'll manage this vehicle. We'll replace this as well. And then we'll duplicate it. And have two on. So 
we should see more movement then in St. Petersburg. So, New Orleans, we also have line one that goes from... Oh, Charlotte down into Houston. Which, we'll manage this line again. Well, I'll duplicate the train. And then replace both of them. I don't know which is the cheaper option to do, but hey-ho. <laughs> um, probably just buying the second train, not duplicating. Buying one, then duplicating it. But, you know, it, it is what it is. And then we've got this line here. We've just done that line, sorry. Then line three, which is the one that goes all the way up to Detroit. Which we'll manage the vehicles on this. So we'll replace this with this. And then duplicate it. So lots of money now just being spent. I wouldn't be surprised if I've just spent the most money in a single year. Holy moly, I spent 1.3 billion. <laughs> That is the most money I've ever spent. But also, that is... Oh, I just made an income of 525 billion. Million, sorry. I've made over half a billion in a single year. That's glorious. That is absolutely glorious right there. So we should see a lot more passengers being moved about, which means making more cashola. How's New York these days on the charts? Still growing. Still growing, boys. I feel like we need to help out slightly in areas to kind of grow the streets. Like if I bought this road here coming down, which could eventually connect up. But it means flattening the river. You gotta help the cities grow, haven't you? Say goodbye to Brooklyn. You gotta help the cities grow, guys. If it means terraforming, it means terraforming. Smoothing all these out. See, these bridges, if I pause right now, no longer need to be bridges. They're going to be just be normal roads. That we can build on. So it should help the growth and expansions of New York. And we can apply that same logic to many of the other cities. Yo, Washington's still got dirt roads coming in. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Um, right, sweet mate. This is looking pretty good. I'm impressed with the expansions and progression that we've made. So now, we could hopefully just leave the East Coast for a little bit. And now start our work back on the West Coast. Because we've kind of left this alone for quite some time. As yeah, Los Angeles is now taking a slight decline because we haven't really done much over here right now. We kind of need to put it back into uh, its progression. Fresno, how are you doing? It's 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 been a big plateau. We've had some big plateaus, so we kind of need to uh, sort things out over on the west coast. But we're only really one connection away from getting the train from New York to LA. I ain't gonna do it, but you know what I mean. The possibilities are pretty much endless. We're going to make more money than we've ever done recently, which is absolutely glorious, especially with these new passenger trains that we've got coming in. Should be able to carry more passengers than we've ever have done before. More movement means more growth, means more expansions. I'm very, very happy with this. So the biggest city in the game as of right now, in terms of size, is New York City, boys. New York City. Then Boston, Miami, Washington. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Damn, son. This is going to be glorious. How far and how big can we grow these cities? I do not know. But until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, goodbye.